Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. Many people know black holes are scary, deep space objects that swallow everything, never to be recovered. But what if I told you that our reality is even more mind-bending than you could ever imagine? Join us on a journey with the renowned scientist Michio Kaku as he unveils a shocking truth. Our entire existence unfolds inside a supermassive black hole. He also discusses the new images from the James Webb Space Telescope, solidifying the evidence that the Big Bang Theory is fundamentally flawed. Let's begin. That's right. Some people say it's an optical illusion. You see, according to Einstein, gravity can act like glass. The glass, of course, you can make a magnifying glass. With gravity, you too can bend space and time to create a gravity microwave, I mean a magnifying lens. So you think that these galaxies are huge when they're actually baby galaxies. Now, I personally think that the solution to the problem is these are not baby galaxies at all. They're actually monstrous black holes. Imagine holding on to a belief for a significant portion of your life, only to have it shattered in an instant. It's a disorienting and humbling experience, forcing you to question everything you thought you knew. One such belief, which has been widely accepted and celebrated as the cornerstone of our understanding of the universe, is the Big Bang Theory. For decades, the Big Bang Theory has been hailed as the most plausible explanation for how our universe came into existence. It suggests that roughly 13.8 billion years ago, all matter and energy were compressed into an unimaginably dense and hot point, known as a singularity. Then, in a cataclysmic explosion, the universe rapidly expanded and began to evolve into the vast and diverse cosmos we see today. However, the arrival of the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has cast a shadow of doubt on the accuracy of the Big Bang Theory. This revolutionary telescope, a joint venture between NASA, the European Space Agency, or ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, or CSA, has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. With its unparalleled sensitivity and advanced instruments, the JWST has made observations that challenge astronomers to reconsider their thinking about the origins of the universe. It has become a game changer, an instrument capable of peering into the depths of space and time, providing glimpses of our cosmic past. One of the most eminent scientists alive today, Michio Kaku, has not hesitated to voice his astonishment at the groundbreaking discoveries made by the JWST. In his own words, he describes how this remarkable telescope is upsetting the established order and forcing us to rewrite the textbooks on the birth of the universe. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. So what exactly has the JWST unveiled that is causing such a seismic shift in our understanding? This remarkable telescope has captured images of six galaxies that existed a mere half a billion years after the Big Bang. What makes these galaxies truly mind-boggling is their sheer size. They are up to 10 times bigger than our own Milky Way galaxy. This revelation goes against the conventional view of galaxy formation. According to current models, galaxies begin as small structures and gradually grow over time by merging with other galaxies or by accreting gas from their surroundings. The discovery of these colossal galaxies challenges this long-held belief, as they appear fully formed and enormous within a remarkably short period of time. To comprehend the magnitude of this discovery, let's consider the numbers. 
Each of these galaxies contains tens to hundreds of billions of stars, and they emerged when the universe was only 500 to 700 million years old. This is significantly earlier and faster than what current models of galaxy formation would suggest. These findings raise perplexing questions about how galaxies came to be and the processes that governed their growth. The puzzle of how these galaxies achieved such immense size and maturity in such a short span of time has astronomers scratching their heads and reevaluating their understanding of cosmic physics. Yeah, that's one theory, because we think that at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy, there is a, a raging black hole that is two to three million times more massive than our sun. In fact, we now believe that at the center of almost every galaxy in the universe, there's a monstrous black hole that could be millions to billions of times more massive than our own sun. Astronomers, led by Ivo Labey of Swinburne University of Technology, made these astonishing discoveries using the JWST's near-infrared camera, known as NearCam. This instrument can detect light that has been stretched by the expansion of the universe, allowing it to observe objects that other telescopes cannot capture due to their distance or faintness. The significance of these early observations cannot be overstated. They provide us with a unique window into the early history and evolution of our cosmos. These six galaxies, dubbed Universe Breakers, challenge our preconceived notions and compel us to question the established theories and models that have shaped our understanding of the universe. However, as exciting as these discoveries are, they also present profound challenges. Scientists now find themselves at a crossroads, faced with the task of reconciling these unexpected findings with existing models and theories. Is there a fundamental flaw in our understanding of the universe? Are these colossal galaxies outliers that formed under exceptionally rare conditions? Or do these findings indicate the need for new physics, additional dimensions, or undiscovered forces that play a significant role in galaxy formation? While we don't have all the answers yet, one thing is clear. The James Webb Space Telescope has opened up a new frontier in our understanding of the universe's early history. In the years to come, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, holds the promise of unraveling more information about these mysterious galaxies and the implications they have for cosmology and physics. Equipped with a suite of advanced instruments, the JWST can perform spectroscopy and imaging across multiple wavelengths, enabling more extensive studies of these galaxies and their surroundings. One significant advantage of the JWST is its ability to observe larger portions of the sky and delve deeper into space. This expanded scope increases the likelihood of discovering more examples of rare phenomena, providing scientists with a wealth of new data to analyze and interpret. One intriguing area of study for astronomers is the diverse composition of stars in globular clusters. For decades, scientists have puzzled over why stars in these clusters, which are typically very old, exhibit such a wide range of chemical components. Despite being created from the same cloud of gas at the same time, these stars possess elements that would require extreme heat to generate, surpassing the temperatures stars are estimated to reach at their cores. To address this mystery, scientists have proposed the existence of supermassive stars within densely packed globular clusters. These massive stars, formed through successive collisions, would act like raging nuclear reactors, continuously spewing forth chemical pollution. The discarded pollution would then feed young, developing stars, providing them with a broader range of chemicals as they come into proximity with the supermassive giant. The JWST has provided valuable insights into this phenomenon. Observations of the galaxy GNZ11, located over 13 billion light years away, have revealed intense star formation and an abundance of nitrogen, a chemical element that requires extremely high temperatures to form. These findings align with the earlier notion of supermassive stars shaping the chemical makeup of stars in globular clusters. Black holes that formed after the instant of creation, that's baffling scientists because they don't fit 
in the normal sequence of the birth of a galaxy. So I personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. And again, if you can figure all this out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. However, there are alternative explanations for these discoveries. The renowned physicist Michio Kaku suggests that these galaxies may actually harbor monstrous black holes which do not fit into the conventional sequence of galaxy formation. Kaku speculates that these black holes may be linked to the emergence of new laws of physics, offering an exciting opportunity for groundbreaking discoveries and potential Nobel Prize-worthy advancements. Another fascinating theory suggests that our universe itself could be nested within a black hole. This hypothesis proposes that our universe originated from the collapse of a giant black hole, with its event horizon leading to a singularity where density and curvature become infinite. Some scientists argue that instead of a singularity, there could be another event horizon inside the black hole, potentially connecting to another separate world with different physical laws. This concept implies the existence of multiple universes within black holes, creating a complex web of interconnected domains. Another grand idea is the multiverse theory, which suggests that our universe is just one among many others. These universes exist in a vast collection known as the multiverse, and each universe has its own set of physical laws. Some of these universes might even contain black holes capable of giving birth to new universes. Now, you might be wondering how this could be possible According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, space and time are interconnected and can be influenced by the presence of matter and energy. A black hole is a region in space where gravity becomes incredibly dense, warping the fabric of space and time. It forms a bottomless pit from which nothing can escape. And at the center of a black hole lies the singularity. The singularity is a point in space where the gravitational force becomes infinitely strong. It is believed to be an area of infinite density, where the known laws of physics break down. Matter and energy that enter a black hole are crushed and compacted to an unimaginable extent. However, some physicists propose that singularities are mathematical artifacts that occur when general relativity is pushed beyond its limits. These physicists suggest that quantum effects might prevent singularities from forming inside black holes. Instead, they speculate that these quantum effects could generate new regions of space-time with distinct features. In this intriguing theory, these new sections of space-time are believed to be new universes with their own physical laws. The event horizon, which is the boundary beyond which nothing can escape a black hole, would separate these new universes from their parent universes. Do you think we are actually living inside a black hole? Like, share, comment, and watch more content like this here.